This conference will now be recorded. Uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is purchase order monitoring. Okay, so the, the topics that we are going to cover, they are, we will see monitoring the purchase order confirmation. Okay, working only with order confirmations, working with different confirmation types. Then we will see message output and expediters. Okay, we will see what is this message output and expediters, how it will work. And then customizing settings for confirmation. So these are the topics we will be covering in the purchase order monitoring. Okay, so we'll start with the monitoring of purchase orders. Okay, so basically how it works is you wish to ensure that all purchasing documents that you send to your ship suppliers are confirmed. So normally what happens is you create purchase order, you send it to the supplier, okay? But at the same time, you want to ensure that the suppliers have received your POs, POs and they confirm to you that they have received the PO, okay? That you want to ensure in the system, that you want to ensure in the system, okay? To do this, to do this, you request an order confirmation. So uh, the moment you send the PO to the vendor, you ask your supplier, your vendor, that you give us a you give us a confirmation. You you give us a confirmation that you received the PO, okay, and you are okay with the PO. So that that confirmation you ask the supplier. You you would like to monitor the receipt of confirmations in a simple manner, and also at the same time. You want to monitor that okay? okay after you have checked and recorded the confirmations you would like to monitor delivery dates and if necessary send delivery reminders or expediters to your vendors so uh, how it works is let me explain you so let me open a notepad for you okay so normally in the in the previous purchasing cycle what we discussed we create a purchase order, creation of purchase order. This we discussed, okay. After that, what will happen normally? Supplier will supply the material, okay. What is it? So when the supplier supplies the material, we will receive the goods, goods receipt, okay. After that, what is the next step? The next step is invoice verification, invoice entry. Okay? So this we have discussed. But in between, you want to have one more step. That is purchase order acknowledgement. Okay, or let me put in a simple words. You want to have one more step. PO, PO acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. That means vendor has received the PO and he said, I have received the PO. That step you want to have. So that we are discussing today. Okay, so you want to know that vendor has received the PO and he is okay with the PO and also he is giving you the delivery date also. Okay, so that you want to track it in the system. So that's what we are discussing today. Okay, so you can you can enter the vendor acknowledgement for purchase orders or delivery schedules. So you in the in the SAP in the purchase orders you have this option to enter the vendor acknowledgement information. I will show it in the system. I will show it in the system in a minute. Okay. So this is the one. So you create a purchase order. You create a purchase order. You give it to the supplier. Okay. Then supplier receives the PO and then he will give a confirmation that he has received it. He has received it. That you want to receive it. You want to the, you want to get that information from the supplier. And also sometimes you have the option of getting the loading confirmation detail that means vendor has loaded the material into a truck or something that information you want to have okay and also shipping notification once he loads it he dispatches it you want to have that information with you so you can request for that also and then finally you receive the material then you do the gr in the system so in between you can have these steps also so in the previous sessions what we discussed you just create a po you give it to the supplier, supplier will supply the material and you will just do that directly GR. But in between, if you want to have, you can have order confirmation, 
loading confirmation and shipping notification info so you can ask the vendor you can ask the supplier for this information also if you want so it is for the monitoring purpose okay so now let's move on so we'll uh, before going into the system we will understand some theory part acknowledgements are sent by vendor to inform customers when ordered materials are expected to arrive so what is this acknowledgement basically it is sent by the vendor to inform us that when he is going to send the materials to us okay you can enter the vendor acknowledgements for purchase orders or delivery schedules so you have this option i'll show it in the system if you do not use acknowledgement the material planning can only go by the material dates and quantity in the purchase order so basically suppose let's say why we need to use this acknowledgement that also we need to understand suppose if you don't use this acknowledgement what happens is you are planning your mrp will go by the normal material date you enter the delivery date in the pu and the quantity okay so let me show you let me let me go to the system suppose let's say you are creating a pu okay let me create a pu let me take a material and let me block it so i'm logging into the system okay so i'll take a material yeah. okay suppose let me take this material hydrochloric acid let me create a pin okay then may 21 here we have covered this already so okay suppose let's say i am i am creating a vendor here okay i am creating a pu enter the material okay let's say quantity and let's say i need this by let's say 15th of october okay okay so here the meaning is i am asking this vendor to supply this material this material this much quantity by this date okay sir so the point to be noted here is this is our requested delivery date we are expecting vendor to deliver by this date but we don't know what is the exact date of delivery okay so if you don't have order acknowledgement what happens is system think that if you do not use acknowledgement the material planning can only go by the material dates and quantity in the purchase so the planning will assume that if you don't use any acknowledgement functionality system will think that this is going to be the delivery date and this is the quantity he is going to deliver by this date system assumes planning will assume like this but this is not the actual delivery date this is our expected delivery date from the vendor okay so that's what you need to understand okay acknowledgements acknowledgements enable you to plan more accurately by providing you with the actual delivery dates and quantity so once you start using this acknowledgement functionality functionality you will be able to enter in the system what is the actual delivery date actual delivery date and quantities in the system which i will show you in a minute i'll show you okay so now there are two methods actually two possibilities when working with confirmations the following possibilities are available you work only with order confirmation okay so in this case the confirmation is solely for informational purposes you cannot record the confirmed dates and quantities separately okay which i will show you in a minute if a material is also used in mrp it cannot be seen if a receipt from a vendor has been confirmed or not so here in this case you just enter the vendor confirmation that's all but you you cannot enter what is actual date what is actual quantity you cannot enter here which i will show you now the another option is you work with several confirmation types so in this case you can record the confirmed dates and quantities in the system so vendor will tell vendor will tell you i am going to deliver on this date this much quantity 
then that that you can enter in the system okay so now in this case if a metal is also used in mrp it is possible to see which quantities have been confirmed on which date so now you know exactly on which date how much quantity is going to come so that is the difference okay so here you have two options okay so here only first is working only with with order confirmation order confirmation another one is working with different confirmation types you have two possibilities different confirmation confer confirmation keys we will discuss both one by one okay okay so so now first let's start with the working only with order confirmation working only with order confirmation so here simple in this case in this case when creating the purchasing document you select the field order acknowledgement required so in the in the po you have a field called order acknowledgement required this suffices to be able to issue an expediter in case of an outstanding order acknowledgement suppose let's say if you start using this field then you can send a reminder expediter or reminder to the vendor i will show you this in a minute okay so here so let's let me show you. suppose let's say you created a po you, you are creating a po so if you are expecting a acknowledge from from the vendor you see here there is a tab called confirmation in the item details in the item details there is a tab called confirmation go to this tab here you see 